Hello, tubers. Jeff here. Where I live in Wisconsin, dealing with rusty stuff is part of the norm. I have an original deal here that perhaps you've never heard of or seen before. This is an exhaust manifold stud. I'm going to wear a wheel get a little bit of the rust off. I'll show you an example of this on a car shortly, but it's a little easier for you to see uh, the way I'm going to show it here. And here's what it looks like, all wire wheeled off. As you can see, it's not very pretty. I purposely saved that stud to show you a worst scenario you can run into and how well this works. Now what you want to do is heat the area that you want to service up until it's glowing. Once it's cooled quickly, let's take a look at the results. I always turn the speed valve down on the impact gun for doing this kind of stuff. And the 916 regular socket will work just fine for that rusted nut. Now, if you're going to reuse that stud that was on a vehicle, you can wire brush it a little bit, or if necessary, run a die over it. And you can see the threads are real good where it does have to hold the flange for the exhaust. The rest is kind of crappy, we know that. <laughs> Now, well, for doing this on the vehicle, for a 3 8 size stud or 10 millimeter, your best bet is usually using a garden hose for a quick cool. If you're doing like a quarter inch stud on something on a vehicle or whatever, you got to use your bolt sprayer. That works real good for smaller bolts and stuff. Now, I didn't really want to get the camera wet with the garden hose, but anyway, on the vehicle, this is what I've done. You can see the heat shield that I'm digging out of there. And I heated all three of them one at a time up and then hit them with the garden hose. You can see they haven't been touched with a socket or a wrench yet. We'll give them a squirt of PV blaster and let's see how it works. Remember now, it ain't a bad idea to always keep the torque on the air gun turned down just a little bit for doing this kind of job. Now, you're going to like this one. When I first started on this job, I thought, ah, them didn't look that bad. I shouldn't have to get the torch out. Well, of course, now we got a problem. So. Let's see how we're going to fix that. Take the little hair grinder and dress off what's left of the stud there a little bit. And I took a 10 millimeter nut and drilled it out a good part of the way through to make it a little better for welding. And now we're going to weld it to that stud. vice grips holding a piece of tin that I have formed around that exhaust flange to keep that heat from getting on where it shouldn't be. Here I'm using that high volume squirt bottle. The garden hose is really preferred but I wanted to show you that the spray bottle will work as an option if you don't have a garden hose available. Assembling things when they're glowing, sometimes I think you run more of a risk of shearing on the opposite side of the nut. Of course, a glowing nut coming out of a socket would always be a concern too.
Here's a good example of where that trip come in really handy. Back in 1996, I bought this 91 burned up backhoe. This machine had a lot of these welded on nuts. Yeah, I must say that torch and horse sprayer trick made disassembly on this job a breeze. I do have a video posted of this build in case some of you might not have seen it. It's unreal on how many different uses I found for this through the years. Give it a try! You'll be impressed on how well it really works. Hope to catch you back here again and thank you much for watching. I was there for entertainment, now back to them. <laughs> no, I can't do this.